Doodle Bud. Hey everybody. This is like my first official unboxing video because every channel has to have one of these. I uh, just got these in the mail. You can see unopened, pristine package. Obviously some kind of pen came here to the greater Canada area. Let's see what's inside. I got these on AliExpress. Um, I just got them on a whim. I ordered a pair before and uh, they worked out pretty well and they're so cheap I thought let's get a couple more just to have them. It's these guys. So they are um, obviously a Lamy Safari ripoff. You know, I got four of them just to have them handy. Maybe I'll probably give one to somebody if, if they like one or whatever as a gift, but let's just do one for now. And as you can see in there, this isn't a fountain pen. This is a ballpoint. And it's got a converter, which these are, I was just looking at my order. They were 90 cents each. So, and then like $1.26 for shipping. So, pretty cheap. I don't know what more you could you possibly want for any less money. Um, so yeah, the reason I got these is just, I don't know, every now and then you got to use a bullet point for certain things. And you've got the amazing choice of blue ink or black ink with your ballpoint pen. But you got all these great fountain pen inks. So you get these guys for 90 cents. And, you know, it comes with the converter, which is pretty amazing. And you can fill it up with whatever ink color you like. So let's just show you what they're like. I thought... Uh, We'll just get to it real quick. So today we're going to use a little Robert Oster Thunderstorm. All right. You fill it like you would a regular fountain pen. Oh, push it down. Pull it up. I can't see how much. Yeah, okay. I think I got some in there. Let's give it a wipe. Give it a go. Where did I put the body? Here it is. <laughs> and the most important part is the lid of this thing. Okay. That's gone. So, don't need to talk too much about it. Obviously, it's clear, so it's a demonstrator. Um, let's just see how much ink. I should should have done it twice but okay we got a teeny bit in there i should have flushed it one more time then drew it back up but literally out of the box if you don't like the uh lammy safari design you won't like this but if you're okay with it you'll be fine with it as well i really got ink everywhere now gosh why did i take that converter out anyways whatever that's gonna get my hand okay um so it fits nicely. You know, it's got the, the standard kind of grip that the Safari would have or all the knockoffs do. And the brand of all names is Yeah, I don't know, is it Mrufel or Mr. Oofel? I don't I have no idea. But that's the name. And it's on I got these on AliExpress. And they're about 90 cents each. Pretty damn cheap. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not the smoothest in the world. Um, you could find a, a ballpoint or gel or roller ball that's smoother than this. This is the 0 0.5 millimeter. Um, there is also an option for 0.4 millimeter. The first pair I got um, it had one of each, and this one was super scratchy. Super scratchy. Oops, there's an S there. We'll just write it all caps like that now. Um, so I didn't bother. I just I still got that one and thought the 0.5 millimeters. It's pretty fun as it is already. And, um, you know, I, it's, it's, it's scratchy as it is. So again, it's not 
terrible, terrible. If you get a really nice lubricated ink, it's okay. It flows half decent. I'm maybe being a little unfair in these things. It is a ballpoint after all. I tried like another ballpoint that I, it took me a minute to find one. And that pen that I just grabbed was smoother than this. But, um, you know, if you need to use a ballpoint but want to use your fountain pen inks, um, I don't know what more you could possibly ask for for 90 cents. So it's a great option. You know, get a couple if you're going to get them. They're so darn cheap as it is. Post it or unpost it. It writes just fine. Um, you know, if you're writing, oh, that's bad. If you're writing or if you're printing, you know, it's, it is what it is. It's a standard kind of ballpoint experience. Um, but hey, for a converter, piston converter included, and now you got to open the door to all your fountain pen inks, uh, it's a pretty good option. And, you know, it's you can see it's fairly dry, so the ink is going to last you a good length of time compared to the equivalent in a fountain pen. That's a quick one. Pick them up. I'd recommend it. It's not like a mind-blowing experience, but for 90 cents, if you want to order something online <laughs> and wait for it to arrive in the mail, it's going to take a while. Give it a go. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. You can subscribe. Check out my Instagram. I'll, I'll do some nicer pictures and post them on my Instagram account, uh, the Doodlebud. Catch you later.